Okay, friends, hello and welcome to another episode of uh, this video series where I look at pens, review them, and say what I think about them uh, by Peter Draws. Once again, made possible, brought to you, sponsored by Squarespace. Thank you. Now, today we're going to be looking at this pen. This pen here is supposedly made of titanium and is $80. Now, I didn't know it was $80 at first, but wait, let me get into the details of it a little. Take a closer look. This is made by ti2designs.com, all right? It came in this little container like so. This is a better uh, this is a better representation of how it arrived, all right? I had already... Look, yesterday I started filming this video already, but yesterday was a bad hair day, so I had to refilm. You know how it is sometimes where pen reviewers were such divas. Um, anyways, it came here, ti2design, sorry, design.com, uh, tech liner. Yeah, they sent me, this is, I, look, I am interested in this pen, partly because two reasons. One, it's a metal pen which you should all know by now that I enjoy metal pens. Two, it is a smaller company, it seems like, right? It's not like, uh, what, what are the bigger pen companies? Rotring, of course, is a big company uh, that I love their pens, but it's owned by some huge company that owns like Sharpie and Papermate and Elmer's Glue and stuff like that. So that's massive, right? But like a larger pen company, I, I would think like Twisby or Lamy, right? Um, I don't know if those are owned by larger parent companies, but this, I think, is just some smaller company. They've got, like, last time I checked, 1,774 followers on Instagram. And I don't know if that's really a good representation of company size, but it's some way to estimate it. 1774, the same year that both Daniel Boone retired and Oxygen was discovered for the second time. The same guy that discovered oxygen for the second time also discovered sulfur dioxide that same year. It does look kind of Star Wars-y to me. What do you think? Especially this part down here, kind of Star Wars-y. It has a nice sleek look. I like this, the grippy parts here and the lid here. Watch this, watch. Shoop. And then it clicks back on magnetically, which is very, satisfying because this can turn it into kind of a, a fidget pen very fun to play with and uh it goes it, that's like the ultimate it's the peak it's this that's really great posting right there i think so it posts well it caps well i mean some people would prefer if it was like a fountain pen that it would screw on to create a kind of a airtight uh, seal, but this isn't a fountain pen, which is one other thing where I get a little bit hesitant about it being $80. Uh, but we'll, I'll talk about price later. It's just a weird thing. I feel like there's too many things to talk about with this. Look, I wasn't sure if this was actually titanium, because if you look at their Instagram page, uh, it just says, like, patented all-metal body technical style pen with a magnetic cap. The Techliner ships with the Uniball Jetstream refill and is probably made in the USA. Okay, so then, like, that doesn't actually say anything about titanium, but then I looked at the message they initially sent me, and that does actually say that it's made out of titanium, and I looked on their website, and I think they just don't mention titanium in that top section because they also make pens out of, like, copper and brass and stuff like that. And that's when I looked on their website and found out that this pen is $80, and I thought, well, let me try it out. Let me see if it feels like it's worth $80. Well, let's see here. TI2 pen. Titanium. That's a fancy little M there for you. Okay, it seems to be working okay. I think it does have some cool aspects to the 
to the design, like the way they worked in the magnetic cap there with the mag magnet ring underneath. And the magnet under here. It's got a good look. It's just not intended for me, I don't think. It could be intended for you. I do appreciate how all of you are very eager and willing to make your own decisions uh, about all the pens that I present here. If I present something, I never intend to uh, coerce you into one specific way of thinking about these pens. I just try to present them and say what I think about them, all right? This one's uh, just one I have mixed feelings about. If I could get a fountain pen made out of titanium, that would be pretty sweet. Maybe they have them. I don't know, though. I think they just do ballpoint pens. Anyways, let's draw now. But first, a word from our sponsors. Some of you may have heard of Squarespace before, and rightly so. I personally use it to make my own website. What I like about it is it takes away a lot of the excuses when it comes to presenting yourself to the world online like this. Sometimes we think, hey, I'm not a professional programmer. I don't know how HTML works or JavaScript or whatever people are using these days, but you don't need to know how that works to make a professional looking website that can impress people and show them what you're working on online. There's all these cool ways for dragging and dropping elements in and customizing them and all these templates you can go through to get you started, but still tweak them to personalize them and make it a, a cool and authentic reflection of you online. So head over to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Peter Draws to get 10% off your first website or domain. All right. <sighs> Let's see if we can use this titanium thing to do a drawing. I, I don't usually use ballpoint pens, but I think we can do it, okay? I am optimistic. I'm in a good mood. Even if I don't look like it, we can do it. All right, I am going to get into my thoughts behind this pen, why I don't think it is for me, but why it could be for other people. But first, a shout out. The shout out is to Nick Danby, who apparently has a really cool girlfriend uh, who sent me two emails and an Instagram message. And all just so I can wish Nick Danby happy 30th birthday. So happy birthday, Nick. Hope it's a good one. And uh, take it easy, man. Hope you uh, have a have a good 30th year. I'm about to turn 30 soon too. So uh, let me know how it goes. Happy birthday. Um, all right. So about this pen, look, I, if, let me put it this way. If this pen had been a fountain pen, I think I probably would be all over it. And this, I think it would be another fa another pen, uh, which I would be here uh, like just going crazy about. And then there would be people in the comments, you wonderful people, um, uh, some of some of which would be like, but Peter, it's it's eighty dollars. It's just too much, right? And it's totally reasonable. But now here, since it's a, it's a, it's a rollerball pen, right? It's a ballpoint pen. Now I'm with you. I'm sitting here saying it's $80. It's too much. It's just because I'm not that excited about rollerball pens. Um, but some people are. But here's the thing. I don't even think that people who enjoy using ballpoint pens are that excited, would be that excited about this pen. Well, I think, I think that the intended audience for this pen is... EDC people. Um, I think that might be also the name of some sort of electronic music festival. Is 
what someone tell me what I'm thinking of there. But no, everyday carry, right? Has anyone else heard of this? Basically, what it is, I'm sure this the, the, this is all over the place on you know various forums, message boards, subreddits, Twitter hashtags, tumblers. Maybe they even meet in person sometimes. Maybe they will again one day. But basically, what it is is people realize they like buying cool things, uh, cool uh, things like, uh, well, their phone, maybe their headphones, but more more importantly, things like their cool pens, their pocket knives, uh, stuff like that, maybe little flashlights, maybe even uh, pistols. I don't know. I, have, I don't really go on these forums very much, but they spend lots of money on high quality stuff, like stuff made out of titanium, right? Actually, there's also a lot of paracord involved, I feel like. Uh, but the problem is they spend all this money on this stuff, cool gadgets. It's Look, it's a hobby, right? I'm not bashing anyone for spending a lot of money on a, on a hobby. Look, if you want to buy this titanium pen for $80, go ahead. It's cool. I support you. But I just don't really feel like it because I'm not really into this whole EDC thing. People buy all these cool things to put in their pockets and nobody can see them, see the items because it's they're always in their pockets. Same reason there's all now these cool forums and you know subreddits and stuff for sharing pictures of your headphones and your computer keyboard because, yeah, sometimes you spend a lot of money to get a computer keyboard that functions better, but also we have computer keyboards and headphones that look so cool nowadays. Uh, and who else ever sees your computer keyboard or headphones, right? So we got to take pictures and share it and comment and have fun. It's, it's a good time. I'm not trying to make fun of this sort of thing. It's just a, I think it's a fun, interesting culture where we, I mean, it's a, it's definitely kind of consumerist, but it's fun. Uh, and I'm just not in this, I'm just not really into that particular hobby. I do have some EDC things like I every, everyday carry like I there's a, you know I have my keys I have a few pens that I carry every day I have you know my wallet my phone my I have airpods right but I'm not going out you know and, and they take like special pictures where they null everything you know what I'm talking about nulling where they lay it out all perfectly spaced out and the lighting's perfect and uh, I'm just not into all that and so this pen if for me to like a pen, it has to work really well, and I don't really... Maybe if in this pen was the same refill that, ha that like, Pilot G2s, G5s, G7s have in them. I don't know, but it just... The way the pen worked feels very average. So, does anyone else... Does this, does this make any sense to anyone else? This pen could be for you but it's not for me. If it is for you, you probably knew it right when you saw it. Like, oh, a cool titanium pen that would go well with my hobby that I'm into right now. I need it for my collection of things that I put in my pocket and post pictures of on the internet sometimes, right? That's awesome. Do it up. But I personally probably wouldn't, but you can. I don't know. It's I'm, I'm in this weird spot of Trying to say that I don't want this pen, but I want you to enjoy it. If 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 that's your thing, okay. There's nothing really... Okay, I'm going to stop trying to reword that in so many different ways. Um, I could give you a few life updates. Uh, I bought a bike. I bought an REI City... Uh, what, REI bike. I, I bought it from REI, and... It's, I think it's called the City 1.2. I could have gotten the kind with shocks, uh, but I just, I got the kind without shocks because it was a few pounds lighter and I have to um, carry it up some stairs. And I don't know, I like it. I've been riding around four or five days now. The second day was the worst because my butt was so tender. Also, another thing I'll share with you is that sometimes when I come back inside from riding my bike, also, I think riding, bike riding is a pretty safe thing because I don't touch anything except my bike. I don't touch anyone. I don't even get close to anyone. It's pretty safe, right? Plus, getting exercise, getting sunshine. I hope it's good for me. Um, 
Also, when I come back into my house, sometimes I get hit with this. Actually, almost every time, I think I get hit with this wall of smell. You know how you get nose blind when you're in your house? But then when you return to it after a while, you smell something. And I've been smelling a weird smell. And, but I only have a few seconds to smell it before I go nose blind again. Like a few seconds, a few brief, precious moments to smell it before uh, it goes away again. And those brief, precious moments, I try to do like some nose detective work. I need Gus from Psych. Is that his name? Gus from Psych? With his super sniffer? Right? I need him to come figure it out. I think it's because I've been heating up these cheese and rice dishes in the oven. I think that might be what it is because I didn't do one. I didn't eat one of those today. And then today when I came back home from riding my bike, it didn't smell as bad. I had a pot pie instead. Also, I want to share how much I enjoy opening the oven after it's been, after, you know, after the oven's been hot, when you open it up and that wall of heat just wafts up into my face. There's something so comforting about that, that I really just love. I, I look forward to it every time, even if it's, 350 degrees, 450 degrees. It's just, it's just like woomph. The same kind of comfort I get from a hot shower or, or putting on hot clothes fresh out of the dryer. It's just like, yes. Uh, anyways, this drawing turned out pretty good. Look, the pen is not trash. Obviously the expensive part of this pen is, I guess a titanium is probably pretty expensive. Which could totally, the, look, the price point they put on this pen could be totally justifiable. I have no idea what it takes to make a pen, what it takes to make stuff out of titanium, how much titanium costs. Also, I might be afraid to put this pen in my pocket, because what if it scratches up all the other stuff in my pocket because it's made out of titanium and it's so freaking hard? Huh? And it's got magnets in it. I don't, I'm afraid of putting magnets in my pocket. Like, who knows what else I put in my pockets? Um... Anyways, yeah, definitely, look, I'll put a link to their website in the description. And also, if you're interested, lately here in my isolation, I have been driven to start another YouTube channel. It's very, I cannot emphasize how, I cannot emphasize how casual this other YouTube channel is, where I have been doing a Minecraft have I, sorry, I'm trying, I'm talking through a burp right now. Excuse me, that was incredible. I've, look, it's a Minecraft survival playthrough called Petercraft. Um, Quiet Shy gave me that idea to call it that. Thank you, Quiet Shy. Um, but it's going pretty good. I just, in the mornings, I wake up, I play Minecraft for an hour or two, I record it, and uh, I upload it. And I, and I talk while I play and stuff, so it's pretty chill. It's very relaxing. I don't like edit anything out or add anything in. So it's just very straightforward. And if you're bored or you're trying to fall asleep at night or you're folding laundry or anything, uh, you know, you can watch me play Minecraft if you want. Anyways, I'm going to go now. I've been talking for way too long. Okay. All right. Goodbye, everyone. I love you. I miss you. All Peter Zane.